Welcome back everybody to another episode of Terra Firma Craft. I am Mr. Envelope and today we are gonna go try to get some blast mining done. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Where you use TNT to just blow up a bunch of ores and you try to collect everything that's um, been destroyed. Um, that's what we're gonna do today but there's one thing that we got to do before and we got to go get some um, some sulfur and luckily there is like tons of uh, volcano activity volcanic activity going on over here so sulfur is kind of everywhere for me at least in this area uh, you can kind of see in the mini map up in the corner um all those orange spots are exposed lava and there's actually a lot more all around like you can see a bunch of sulfur right there um so god can i jump <laughs> this shouldn't be too much of an issue and uh, this stuff kind of like regenerates really quickly as well um so this shouldn't be a problem at all we just got to grab a bit of it Combined it with some charcoal. Ooh. Uh, combined it with some charcoal and the saltpeter that we got in the last episode. That's about it. And then we have a bunch of gunpowder. We're going to put the gunpowder inside of a barrel. We're going to light the barrel with the redstone signal. And it's going to explode. And now, uh, I've done some testing with this uh, in a creative TFC world. Um... None of the ores, or whatever you're trying to blow up, gets destroyed when it explodes. Like, if it, if something, if an ore was broken from an explosion, it's going to drop whatever uh, metal or whatever you're trying to mine. It's going to drop that. It's not going to get destroyed. It's going to be all good. So, like, let's say there's a bunch of copper ore in the wall right here. If we blow up right here and this gets exploded, um, we're going to get some nice uh, copper nuggets of goodness <laughs> um i think i explained that okay and that's gonna be what we're gonna try to do how much do i have oh cool this is like almost exactly what i needed let's just grab a little bit more that way we don't have to make too many trips um I'm, we're only gonna try one explosion so we got to make it count because i don't want to waste too much charcoal um i don't know how effective it's gonna be we're gonna go for like i think the third tier um explosion which is three stacks of gunpowder inside of the thing the barrel so i think that's going to be enough um and if not you know we can it's kind of like a trial and error thing and then another thing we got to do today is uh set up more saplings because i thought i did that but apparently i didn't so we got to make sure we're getting enough um what's it called <laughs> uh charcoal coming in let's grab that awesome yeah, look at all the sulfur. It's everywhere. And, like, it'll it'll all be back, I don't know, in the next day. <laughs> it's not that hard to get. I mean, I, kn I know that I've had, like, hard times finding it before. But I never really knew what it was for, so I always left it alone. And I never grabbed any. Um, but, yeah, look at it. That, that's, that's plenty. That's, that's more than enough. Uh, when we go to craft the gunpowder, it's going to make uh, two stacks anyways. So, like, if we use a stack of sulfur... A stack of charcoal and a stack of saltpeter. We're going to get two stacks of gunpowder. And then I think I already have a stack of gunpowder. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be good for a while. <laughs> it's not going to be too much of an issue. And also, uh, winter is coming. You guys saw at the end of last episode. I haven't seen any snow patches around, but the water has been freezing over at night. Um, I think to help get the winter over quicker, I think I'm going to try to sleep every night. Just so, you know, things move along. Um... I'm, I'm actually using my bed, you know, things like that. I think that's going to be good. So I'm actually just going to go ahead to sleep right now. <laughs> Hopefully the winter won't last as long. All right. And before we actually make any of this stuff, we're going to go and pet and plant some of these hickory saplings. Awesome. Um, hickory is supposed to be a really good burning wood. Uh, because all the woods have different like burning values and everything like on their on the TFC wiki. Um, I think because of that, if we use, uh, this wood, hickory, to get, um, charcoal, I think we'll get a little more charcoal? I don't, I don't know if that's how it works, but regardless, I also wanted to get some more hickory. Um, also, I need to chop these down. Let's go ahead and set these guys up. I also need to have, like, two or three trees on the side, just for getting saplings back, because that was an issue. Um, that I came across when I was doing those. I kind of just chopped them all to, at the same time, and I didn't get many saplings back from it, so... Whoops, gotta be careful with that. 
And then we can do the rest over here. I don't, I don't think using the glass blocks really helped all that much. I think uh, letting it happen by chance, getting a crazy grown tree, I think that's going to be the way to do things. Um, so how I did this was the next one goes here, and then the next one goes here, and then three apart on this side, three apart on this side, three apart on this side. And I think this worked pretty effectively. Yep, just like that. Awesome. And I'm going to try to get some more saplings right here, too. Yeah, I, I, I liked uh, having the oak. The oak, I think, because it's probably the closest thing to vanilla, it might drop, or it might grow crazier. I don't know. That's kind of my thought process on the oak trees. Did I get it all? I sure did. Awesome. And then, I think in between the this episode and the next episode, I'm going to try to get another charcoal pit going because all of the wild and sporadically placed trees I planted have grown already. Um, I could see them coming up here. Like, um, oh, plus our whole park has grown completely too. Um, all these random Douglas firs in here are uh, planted by me and along with those maples and that aspen right there that one that aspen <laughs> um oh those are all placed by me and then all these douglas firs are have grown as well yep or except for those saplings but yeah we i gotta i gotta do some chopping and then i'll get another charcoal pit going and uh hopefully we'll get some more charcoal we could do more uh tnt mining it's gonna be great <laughs> Alrighty, so let's actually go ahead and try this out um really quick yeah i have a stack of gunpowder we're gonna make another two stacks so let's get all that let's go grab some charcoal which should be over here <laughs> the only thing that's kind of that's going to be a pain in the butt to get is the charcoal i mean like we have a lot right now but there can easily be a time where it's like we have to question what's going to be more valuable um using charcoal for the tnt mining or using charcoal to smelt things um so that that's the only problem i can really foresee but that's about it and uh the thing that i kind of want to go see if uh we can blow up is the coal <laughs> um i need to go remine all that coal anyways and i know that it's pretty dense i've mined it before and I, I know I just know that it's pretty dense, and I think if we blew it up, that would probably be the best way to use um, our TNT. So that's my thought process. I think it's going to be okay if we do that. Also, I need to get some redstone. I just want to make sure that we're doing this as safe as possible. Um, the explosion can easily kill us. Easily. Um, and I'm pretty sure we have some cinnabar, or I'm pretty sure I've grabbed some before. That's kaolinite. Cinnabar, awesome. And if you don't know, cinnabar is basically redstone. Uh, what we have to do is grind it up. I want some more. Awesome. <laughs> cool, we got some redstone. And this works, you know, just like, I think, vanilla redstone. There's nothing too different about it. Um, what we'll do is we'll put our... Our barrel full of TNT right there. We'll put a pressure plate a safe distance away. Step on it. It lights up. We're going to lose the redstone, but I mean, it's it's fine. Uh, there's actually a pretty big um, cinnabar deposit over there where it says cinnabar. 580 blocks away. Um, it's not too far. I've seen it before. We've mined a little bit in an episode, but also there's a lot more exposed on the back of it. On like the back of a mountain that it's on. It's It's... There's, there's more cinnabar if I need it. It's fine. Um, I don't mind losing some of this. Um, I think we'll be okay. And uh, I'll meet you guys over at the coal deposit. Not that one. That was just some coal readings. We're going to go to the actual coal deposit that I've been to before. There it is. <laughs> ah! Oh, rip. Okay, so if we die from that, if we get caught in the explosion, we're, we're just done for. Um, <laughs> I did not mean for that to happen. Now, underneath here, there is tons and tons of coal and that's what we want i'm gonna try to put this well, probably just about there i was gonna try to put it deeper but i think the deeper we go um the more difficult it's gonna be because it is gonna cause some cave-ins 
that's a reason why I was thinking of like maybe I could go put it in the saltpeter mine that we had. But that place is already starting to cave in. If there's an explosion in there, that whole place is going to get caved in. Well, we'd probably still be able to grab a lot of the, um, a lot of the, what's it called? Crap. We'd probably be able to grab a lot of the saltpeter that actually gets blown up. But it probably wouldn't be a good idea because we'd have to dig through all of this cobblestone and then it would just be annoying. Things like that. So, and a lot of it might despawn it by that point. So, you just gotta, you gotta kind of be a little smart about this. I thought this coal would be a good idea because it's really near the surface. Um, if we ruin this completely, there's still tons right here. There's tons up there. There's tons up there. It's just everywhere in this area. Um, <laughs> so I don't think we'd be missing out too much. But if we do get this to work properly, then, you know, go us. <laughs> um, all right, so let's lay down the redstone. Okay, and I don't know how, how fast it blows up. Where did our... We lost our pressure plate. That is that is a shame. Or I could do a button. I think a button might be a little safer. Let's blow that up. <laughs> Let's make a button. Awesome. Wait, oh, can I not put a button down? Can I put it on the side? Okay. Are you guys ready for this? I need to be somewhere safe, but I want to watch it still. Um, I don't know where to be. Well, that was kind of dinky. Oh, there's coal everywhere. Nice. Well, that was a good test. Um, how much coal? We got like a stack. That's not too bad. I feel like that could have gone a lot better in that. We need a bigger explosion. I'm going to check the wiki and see what the next tier is because I don't want to waste any cobblestone. I mean, I don't want to waste any gunpowder. And, um, let's try that again. Okay, so if three stacks made that explosion, which was pretty good. It was a pretty good explosion. Looking back, it made, it made a good enough hole in the ground. Um... Would four be worth it? Or should I go ahead and make a sixth one? I think making a sixth one would probably be the best. A sixth batch, I mean. Um, we would have six stacks of TNT, or gunpowder in there, out of the 12 that it can hold. Now, if I put a full thing of 12 in there, that's going to, like, destroy the world. <laughs> At least that's what it seems like. Uh, oh, we need to grab a little bit more... Uh, goodies. Uh, sulfur. Sulfur. We need a little bit more sulfur. Let me check in here. I actually might have a little bit of sulfur now from when I was just grabbing stuff. Oh, it don't look like it. Nope. Yeah, I don't I don't see any. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. I think we'll just use that 60 right there and then make our stack that way. Yep. Cool. Uh-huh. Let me put this extra bit away. Oh, that don't go there. This goes there. Okay. And then we do have all this uh, coal on us, which is pretty cool. I don't know if blowing up that same spot is going to really be worth it, too. Oh, do I have enough redstone? I do. Okay, everything's good. Yeah, I don't know if blowing up that same spot is going to really be worth it because, I mean, we kind of already blew it up a little. And I know that area is very dense uh, with the coal, but it's, I don't know. I still don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll go assess the area. I've yet to do that. <laughs> okay, so I think I know where we're going to blow up next. We're going to blow up more right here. I think that's going to be pretty good. Let's actually hop inside of here. Dig a little path for it. I know that there's a decent amount of uh, coal this way as well. So I think if we blew up right here, it's just going to be perfect. We're going to get everything we need. I'm going to put it right there. Just give me that. Cool. And then where's our barrel? There it is. Pop in all. Okay. <laughs> Pop in all. Okay, come on. We got to put in all of our gunpowder right here. Let's do that. Okay. That's almost half a thing full. Let's see how bad this thing is. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty bad. <laughs> this is going to. This could hurt us. Um. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, get out of here, Snow. No one likes you. All right. Get our button. Is that going to work? <laughs> That's like basic redstone right there, but we, okay, let's see. I'm going to push it, and then we're going to go hide in that little valley down there. I think we're going to be safe. The explosion's going to be a lot bigger, so we actually have something to worry about. But let's go ahead and push it. Oh, it lit up. Is it? I'm afraid to go over. Oh, I don't think I sealed it. Yeah, it's still there. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I sealed it. I think that's why. And then watch it like explode in my face. Okay. There we go. Now let's try to blow it up again. <laughs> this is pretty scary. Oh my god. That was stupid big. Holy crap. All those trees. No. Oh, but look at all this coal I'm getting. Oh, look it. We got some minerals too. <laughs> that happens sometimes. And we got some sylvite. Because there was a little bit distributed around here. Nice little baby cave-ins. I don't know if we got that much charcoal though. Eh, we got like three stacks. That's pretty good, actually. At least I think so. I feel like I would have gotten more from mining, though. I mean, I I was still... I mined out a lot more than what it blew up uh, when I had done this the first time around. But, I don't know. I, I feel like that was pretty good. It's definitely something I'm not going to be doing all the time. But if it's if there's ever like a situation like this where there was just so much like look at guys you 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 can see right now just how much coal there is around here like it's almost stupid <laughs> like it seems cheaty but this is a uh, totally natural apparently it's supposed to spawn in giant quantities like this um pretty cool but yeah I don't think I'm going to be doing this all the time if there's ever something like this I'm going to probably consider blowing it up and then just grabbing all the goodies afterwards I gotta throw out some crap that I don't need. Um, but otherwise, I think that was... that was It was definitely fun. It was something to try. <laughs> um, and if you guys have any uh, better ways of doing this, let me know. Because, obviously, I just did, like, two experiments hoping something good would happen. Nice. Um, I gotta sweep around here. Just make sure that there's no coal hidden around. But yeah, if you guys have any tips to making this as efficient as possible, definitely let me know in the comments below. Um, any more? I don't see any more. It made some cave-ins up here, which was pretty cool because I thought that place would be pretty untouchable. At least right now. I just want to go up here and, like, take a peek, see if anything happened. No, I think we're good. Look, some of that turned into cobblestone, so that's pretty interesting. It's pretty neat, guys. <laughs> I'm really happy with this. Um, but I, I, I hate to do this right now, but this is going to have to be the end of the episode. Um, I know it was probably a lot shorter than normal, maybe, I think. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to be doing or dealing with a lot of family stuff in the next couple of weeks, so uploads are going to be very, very uh, minimal. if anything um i got some stuff i got to take care of um and i'm not going to really have time to be doing any of the youtube stuff but i appreciate you guys sticking around there's going to be links to like all the playlists down below and everything and you guys know to check out the channel um but that is going to be it like i said thank you very much for watching be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you guys want to see more i'm mr envelope and i will see you guys next time Bye bye Oh, we get pushed again. Oh, we get pushed again. Alright. So that probably wasn't that um, interesting.